a spacecraft glides silently through the outer spiral arm of the Milky Way. These interstellar journeys, not in any rush, maintain a leisurely pace at just 60,000 miles per hour, a crawl by cosmic standards. However, this unhurried trajectory has persisted for a million years, traversing several thousand star systems over a distance of a hundred light years. Approaching each new star system, the spacecraft diligently scans, searching for the specific combination it seeks, a lifeless planet orbiting a young yellow sun. As it passes close to the planet's surface, it deploys its ancient payload, protected as it descends through the atmosphere, landing on the surface and revealing its contents. Inside lies a 1,000-kilogram payload of bacterial samples, 100 different types, each uniquely suited to various environments. Some succumb immediately to the unsuitable conditions, but the survivors find a habitat ripe for colonization. Thriving, these microorganisms evolve, adapt to new niches, and exploit diverse environments over the next four billion years. Under the brightening yellow sun, they transform into increasingly complex forms, eventually evolving into conscious beings with culture, philosophy, and mighty civilizations. Ages come and go until, for the first time, these celestial colonists name their newfound home, Earth. This captivating origin story may sound like science fiction, but it's a credible scientific theory first proposed in the 1970s by Francis Crick, one of the discoverers of DNA. It is one facet of the phenomenon known as panspermia, an extraterrestrial hypothesis for the genesis of life on Earth. Panspermia, a term derived from ancient Greek, translates to all seeds signifying the notion that life seeds disperse throughout the universe, either accidentally or intentionally, finding suitable host planets. This concept is not relegated to the fringes of scientific thought, scientists have explored panspermia for centuries. In 1903, Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius suggested that spores could traverse space propelled by solar radiation pressure. By 1957, the idea emerged that life on Earth might have originated from another planet as an infectious invasion. An alternative concept proposed in 1960 posited that Earth's life resulted from cosmic debris left by an older, advanced civilization. In the 1970s, Francis Crick even entertained the notion of intentional directed panspermia, envisioning the possibility of seeding other planets with our own ecosystems. Chandra Wickramasinghe, an eminent mathematician in the 1980s, took it a step further by suggesting that viruses might have descended from interplanetary space, influencing epidemics and boosting evolution. Panspermia theories find support in evidence from Earth's early years. The planet's first half billion years were tumultuous and inhospitable, yet life emerged rapidly. Some compounds essential for life, such as sugars and amino acids, likely arrived via solar wind from the solar nebula. In 2004, the Stardust mission collected amino acids and organic compounds from a comet's tail, reinforcing the idea that cosmic chemicals have continuously rained down on Earth. Despite advancements in understanding the molecular puzzle and proposing how life might arise from basic building blocks, the true origin of life on Earth remains a mystery. The possibility of directed panspermia raises intriguing questions. Could life have originated elsewhere, intentionally or accidentally seeding Earth shortly after its formation? With Earth being relatively young at four and a half billion years, star systems that formed earlier in the universe's history might host civilizations more advanced than our own. While interstellar seeding missions are currently beyond our technological capabilities, the concept is not implausible. However, evidence for directed panspermia is scant, shifting attention to passive panspermia a hypothesis grounded in physical processes observable in our solar system today. Life could accidentally spread across the cosmos, with microbial travelers facing three critical challenges, escape, transit, and delivery. Microorganisms must first escape their host planet, aided by atmospheric forces, thunderstorms, volcanic eruptions, or catastrophic events propelling them into space. The journey through space presents the challenge of survival in a harsh environment, cold, dry, and filled with deadly radiation. Recent experiments reveal that some microbes can endure these conditions, adopting a primitive form of cryostasis. Shielding, whether in a specially designed spacecraft or a simple rock, becomes crucial against cosmic radiation. The final challenge is surviving the landing, as meteors impact Earth with intense heat and shock. 
Scientific tests, such as shooting bacterial samples through powerful air cannons, suggest that microbes could survive a landing if encased in protective rock armor. In conclusion, while evidence on Earth indicates that life could withstand a journey through space, concrete proof of extraterrestrial seeding remains elusive. The potential evidence may have been lost to the ages, buried in Earth's geological processes. Panspermia theories, though fascinating, merely shift the question of life's origin to a different location, one we know even less about than early Earth. As we discover thousands of new exoplanets orbiting alien stars, the search for answers continues. While the notion of an advanced civilization, as proposed by Francis Crick, creating life throughout the cosmos remains intriguing, until life is found on another planet, the mystery persists. Are we truly children of the Earth, or does the universe hold the key to life's origins? Only time and exploration will reveal the answers. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars.